and welcome to our homemade dog treat program. Today I will be showing you three simple recipes that you can make for your puppy. My name is Diane Yarrow. I'm the Assistant Director and Adult Services Librarian here at the Irvin L. Young Memorial Library in Whitewater, Wisconsin. The recipes that we're going to be making today are very easy and they use ingredients that you have on hand. So let's get started by first taking a look at some books that we have at the library that you can check out that have some wonderful recipes in them for dogs and other critters. Here's one. Lots of good, wholesome, simple to cook recipes. There's hearty hound loaf, banana nut, cookies, turkey burgers, and fiesta bones. We've got a bunch of different books for you. Canine Cuisine. I like this one. The dog ate it. We've got Doggy Delights and Kitty Cuisine. So this one you can get and you can make recipes for your cats and your dogs. Then there's the Good Treat Cookbook for dogs and the Healthy Homemade Dog Treat Book. So if you need some ideas on making some treats and food for your animals, come to the library. We probably have a book or we can get one for you. So let's get started. The three things we're making today are peanut butter cubes, peanut butter cheese dip, and Parmesan cheese crisps. The first thing we're gonna make is the peanut butter cheese dip. Let me read you the recipe, it's very easy. It uses eight ounces of cream cheese and you wanna soften it to room temperature. We're going to use a half a cup of peanut butter, and you can use either crunchy peanut butter or you can just use smooth peanut butter, whichever your dog prefers. And we need one apple. Now, if you are concerned that your apple might turn a little brown as you're making this recipe, you can just brush a little lemon juice on the apple. I did not do that because I know that my dog will not care if the apple is a little brown or not. So that is our first recipe we're going to make, peanut butter cheese dip. You can use a hand mixer or you can do like I did and I left the parmesan, or I left the cream cheese out to sit for a while so that it's nice and soft. So we're just going to take this one package, eight ounce package of cream cheese and I'm going to put that into the bowl and then we're just going to add to that, we're going to add the peanut butter. And we'll have a nice, delicious dip for our dogs. And they just, they won't know what to think. They'll be like, wow, can we have this every day? So I'm just getting my cream cheese out. Got that here in the bowl. Gonna add a half a cup of peanut butter to that eight ounces of cream cheese. Gonna get that into the bowl here. And again, you can use a hand mixer if you wish, or you can mix it up by hand. I'm just going to mix it by hand. It's mixing up very easy because I let that cheese soften, so that made a big difference. You could even, you know, soften it in, in the microwave if you needed to. I'll just get that mixed up well. everything out of the way and I think this is going to make more dip than just one apple so you could keep this in the refrigerator for a couple days and use it as needed with your puppy and it would last for about five days I'm guessing in the refrigerator there we've got that mixed up so now let's take our apple and I'm just using a red delicious apple you could probably use any kind of apple, whatever your dog prefers. If they let you know what their favorite apple is, then I would go with that apple. So I'm gonna get my spoon here. Now we're just gonna scoop. We're gonna take our apple, and you know what I did here is I took my whole apple and I cut it into fourths, and I scooped out the seeds and I made just a little scoop in there so that the, the dip will sit in there a little better. And we're just going to Put some of that on the apple. And I'm gonna tell you, um, there's no reason why you yourself couldn't share this with your dog. So we're just going to scoop, scoop out the peanut butter and the cream cheese onto the apple. 
That looks delicious. I think any dog would be happy to eat this little treat. It would be a nice treat for a warm day like today because the apple would be cool and crunchy. The peanut butter and the cream cheese is nice and cold. It would be a really nice hot weather treat for your canine little friends. So there we have it. We have our peanut butter cheese dip. It was very easy and simple to do. I will read the recipe for you again. It was eight ounces of cream cheese, softened to room temperature, a half a cup of all natural crunchy peanut butter or smooth peanut butter, and one red or golden delicious apple. And if you would like your apples not to turn brown, then just brush them with a little bit of lemon juice. About an eighth of a cup should do it. So that is our first canine creation. Moving on. The next one also involves peanut butter. And this recipe is really good for a day like today when it's really warm outside because it uses ice cube trays. Yes, the dogs get nice frozen treat. So let's get started with the ingredients for that. That calls for peanut butter, plain yogurt, and some honey. So three ingredients, very simple. Probably have a lot of these items on hand at home. So no need to run out to the store and get something special. And, and these are good projects for kids to do in the summer as well. So let's take it. A recipe calls for three cups of plain whole milk yogurt, a cup of peanut butter, and a tablespoon of honey. So I'm gonna take my yogurt and I did measure this out ahead of time. There are three cups in here. So let's just get that put into the bowl. There we go, got the yogurt. Next, got a little condensation on that, so we'll just wipe our hands off. Next, we're gonna get our peanut butter. Scoop the peanut butter out. And again, this is a cup of peanut butter three cups of yogurt, plain yogurt, and a cup of peanut butter of your choice. I'm using creamy because I think it will mix up better, but definitely feel free to use chunky peanut butter, natural peanut butter, whatever kind of peanut butter you want. I'm gonna get this mixed up, and then it also calls for a tablespoon of honey, but I'm gonna get this mixed up really well first, and then I'm gonna add the honey. And then we're just gonna put it into our ice cube trays, and it needs to go into the freezer for at least two hours. And if you take it out of the freezer and you think they're a little too hard for your puppy, feel free to let them sit out or you can stick them in the microwave for just a couple seconds and soften them up for the puppies. But if your puppy's like mine, oh, they love frozen treats. All right, so next we just have to add the honey. And again, that's three cups of plain whole milk yogurt a cup of peanut butter and a tablespoon of honey. So let's get our honey here. Got my tablespoon right here. Let's measure out a tablespoon of honey. And again, this is just so easy. As you can see, these recipes aren't taking any time at all. Quick, easy, and very delicious. That's probably the most important thing, is that they are delicious. And I'm guessing if, as you're making these, you could always have your animals lick the spoon in the bowl when you're done getting it mixed up. Give them a little preview of what they have to come. And they probably would like to eat this just as it is. I'm thinking this would make another really good dip to put on an apple for a sweet little canine. All right, we got that all mixed up. You can see. Didn't take any time at all. And now we just have to put it into our ice cube trays. So let's plop that in there. It's nice because it's thick, so you know that it's going to um, freeze up really well. You know, it's, if you're giving your dog a nice frozen treat, you know, you can feed these to yourself or your children because all healthy ingredients Nothing strange or out of the ordinary. Okay, I'm gonna smooth this out. Get that in there. I think we've got room to put a little more. 
I believe that this would fill two ice cube trays very nicely. So you would be able to have some treats on hand for quite a while, at least a day or two. There we go. There you have peanut butter cubes. I will read that recipe back to you one more time after I get the peanut butter and the cream or the yogurt off of my hand. We are being good Wisconsinites and using lots of dairy products today. In fact, every recipe today is using a dairy product. Okay, so peanut butter cubes. We've got three cups of plain whole milk yogurt, a cup of peanut butter, and a tablespoon of honey. And you just gotta have to mix them all together and put them in an ice cube tray freeze for at least two hours, pop them out, and give them to your dog as a treat. Perfect for a day like today. Now the next recipe calls for one ingredient. How simple is that? One ingredient. And yes, once again, it is a dairy product. Parmesan cheese. And you can get the finely, the pre-shredded, this one is finely shredded, or you can, you know, get a block of Parmesan cheese and grate it yourself. Doesn't matter, either one will work just fine. You need a cup of the Parmesan cheese. And then you just need a tablespoon of the cheese for each treat. You're gonna make them into like little cookies. So we're gonna take a tablespoon of the Parmesan cheese. We're going to put it on our cookie sheet with the parchment paper. And then you're just gonna kind of form them into a cookie form. Very simple. Put it on the cookie sheet. Make sure it's in the shape of a cookie. And it looks like this is going to make about seven. You could get seven or eight if you didn't make them too big. There we go. Here we have our Parmesan cheese crisps. These you will want to cook in a 400 degree oven and cook them for five minutes or until golden brown. When you cool them and store them, they're very delicate once they've been cooked. So you would want to store them with wax paper or parchment paper between the layers to kind of keep them from falling apart or to keep them from getting melted together. So there you have your Parmesan cheese crisps. So those are three easy recipes that you can make for your canine friends. I will read all of those recipes back to you. And these all came from books from the library or the library system. I did bring in a few books from another library because I was curious what other books were out there that we did not have. So the first thing we made was the peanut butter cheese dip. And that used eight ounces of cream cheese, softened to room temperature, a half a cup of all natural crunchy or smooth peanut butter, and one red or one golden apple, and lemon juice, about an eighth of a cup if you want to brush your apple to keep it from turning brown. You can use a hand mixer or you can do like I did and let it all come to room temperature and then blend it together. Cut the apple into fourths, scoop out the seed part, Make a little scoop area so that the dip will sit in there very nicely, like we have here. And there you have a nice, fresh, healthy treat too. The nice thing about these treats is they are healthy. There's nothing in here that is harmful to your pets and everything is high in protein, which is really good for them. The next one was the peanut butter cubes and that used yogurt, three cups of plain whole milk yogurt, you could use low-fat yogurt too, as long as it's thick. The brand I had was Fahey, and it is 0% fat, but it's so thick that it worked just fine. That's what I had on hand, so that's what I went with. So three cups of plain whole milk yogurt, a cup of peanut butter, and a tablespoon of honey. And just mix them all together with a whisk or a spoon like I used, or spatula. Then you fill up your ice cube trays 
take an empty ice cube tray, fill it up, pop it in the freezer for two hours, pop the treats out, and you have a nice frozen healthy treat for your dog. Our last recipe was the Parmesan cheese crisps. And that ingredient was one ingredient, Parmesan cheese. You needed a half a cup of Parmesan cheese to make six to eight cookies. And you just heap a teaspoon of Parmesan cheese on a tray, pat them down so they're in cookie form, cook them in a 400 degree oven for five minutes or until golden brown, and they're ready for you to feed to your animals when they cool down. And to store them, you store them in a sealed container in the refrigerator. And again, you want to put layers of parchment paper between them because they're very delicate. Store them in the refrigerator and you'll have some treats on hand. I hope you enjoyed the, these recipes today and come to the library to get some more recipe books. We've got a lot of books here and we're happy for you to come check them out. So enjoy and I hope that you try these recipes and let us know on Facebook if your animals like these and feel free to share photos of the treats that you've made. We love to get feedback from our programming, especially when there are treats involved. Thanks.